Hey, Virgo, someone rising in Venus. This is your monthly energy for Virgos who are dealing with a Capricorn. So this is what we got. We got the Seven of Wands to the King of Cups to the Two of Pentacles. All right? The person that you guys are dealing with or you guys, it doesn't matter. Just take it as it resonates. Could have been a little bit narcissistic. Not only narcissistic, but they could have been emotionally unbalanced, Virgos. Um, they could have also been maybe a little bit bipolar as well or just like just so many personalities okay so virgos this uh, seven of wands this person was very very defensive maybe even abusive at times okay um they're before they were like thinking and stuff but now they're not thinking anymore they're coming to the realization that they do miss you virgos uh you or them they do miss you okay um maybe you guys you know you may you know so they just miss you, okay, Virgos? Coming in with the hangman in reverse, this person is ready to come out of um, stagnating the situation. Coming with the three of pentacles, they're ready to work on the situation here with you, Virgos, okay? At the bottom of the, at the bottom here, we have the judgment, the king of swords, and uh, six of pentacles, Virgos. God and Archangel Gabriel, they're in on the situation here to help you, okay? There's judgment, on, there's judgment that's been put into the situation here. For you guys, um, coming in with the King of Swords, this person is very, very verbally abusive, Virgos. Mm, very vicious with their words. I kind of think that this person is is abusive, like maybe verbally abusive and also physically abusive that was coming towards you. But just know that God is on the situation to shine light for you, to get you to probably try to find a way to... Uh, Get you to learn the lesson that you had to deal with with this person so that way you can move on with your life coming here with the six of pentacles this person wants to come back and balance the scales here with you virgos um whatever happened in the recent past or past uh they were not giving to you in the correct form because before in the past they were giving to too many people and they were not giving much to you but they were give like giving less to you and they were giving to other things they could have been giving to a third party situation they could have been giving you know their time to work, they could have been giving their time to uh, other family members, friends, you know, just other stuff. Um, but it looks like they want to come and balance the situation out with you. But I just want you to know that although they want to balance the situation out with you, I don't think they're going to be able to start still give you what it is that you want. I'm saying that because of the King of Swords here. This person is still going to be verbally vicious when when uh, when it comes towards you. Okay, cutie pies, and I want you to know that. If you guys are dealing with something like this, I, I would hope to think that you guys can try and be strong, Virgos, to get yourself out of something that is not normal, not healthy. This is a very honey, unhealthy relationship, Virgo, someone rising in Venus and Capricorn, okay? It's not safe for you guys. So I want you to know that God is trying to shine light on the situation so that way you can um, leave it for what it is, okay? Coming here to the uh, Seven of Cups, Virgos. You, the, I, I'm seeing this in, I, okay, I'm going to say this person could have had lots of options, but really, I feel like this person painted a lot of, a lot of illusions for you, put you in fear, paranoia, okay? Yeah, like, bad paranoia, Virgos, because all they were doing was lying, stealing, cheating on you, Virgos. Yes, it's in the reverse, but at the end of the day, it's still here. So this lets me know that this King of Cups here, this person who wants to, uh, be narcissistic and maybe abusive towards you they were only just physically abusive they were verbally abusive and they were also fucking cheating on you what a horrible converse uh, com uh combination okay the sun card here all right let me see hold on one second virgos let's see what's going on Virgos, what is this energy here? Okay, so if I'm going to start reading it this way. Uh, look at this. Okay, this person was like cheating on you. They're painting an illusion for you, Virgos. I mean, it, it wasn't good, okay? They want to they wanna be happy, so they're going to be coming towards you from a distance. But I mean, even when they come towards you from a distance or they want to take you over water or travel over water virgos they're going to end up fighting with you i'm telling you this person as honestly could be physically abusive towards you okay uh they may want a reconciliation with you 
but I don't think so. I really believe that this was a fucking third party situation, my Virgos, uh, sun, moon, rising in Venus, and, and it's just going to leave you right back where you started uh, in the eight of swords. It's just going to make you feel really, really trapped, very paranoid, anxiety, like this energy here, this narcissistic energy here who wants to be defensive and, and, uh, and always fight Virgos, who wants to uh, be verbally abusive towards you it's just gonna cause you a lot of pain i'm telling you it's more mentally more mental than it is um, uh, emotional but the reason why i'm saying more mental is because i have the eight of swords here which is entrapment this person honestly you because they're so abusive it will leave you always in the eight of swords here virgos you do cry a lot and you're very emotional on the fact that you feel like you're stuck. You can't make a move. Um, so let's just say you and them stop talking for a couple days or whatever. You're not relaxed. You're just stressed the fuck out. But at the end of the day, you're stressed coming towards the three of cups here. You're stressed about the fact that does this person have a third party? Does, are they dealing with other people, Virgos? And you know what? It looks like they are still. So even if they do come back, this is a very narcissistic energy. Narcissism doesn't really go away, okay? Unless you stop entertaining the situation so what i suggest for you guys to do all right like the, you know just be kind to yourself be loving on yourself self-love is the best healing of virgos you guys need to go and heal yourselves by some water alone you know what i mean pop pond whatever it is just find a way to heal yourself sit down take the time to understand what's going on so that way you can come out of this do positive affirmations so that way you know you're worthy. You're worthy of the best kind of love. Do the and and try and get yourself out of a situation that is that is severely um, abusive. I mean, it could be verbal abuse, physical abuse, also mental abuse. It's a lot of fucking abuse, Virgos. I don't know what else happens, but I mean, at the end of the day, these are what I'm seeing in the cards. So if that is the case, I'm wishing you guys love and light. I hope you guys get out of the situation and uh, uh um and take care of yourselves in the in the best form that you ca you possibly can okay thanks bye